Welcome to a new feature release by us at Zendler. So now we have cloud recording for live classes and webinars. So we're super excited to announce that New Zendler live classes and webinars now supports cloud recording. When you choose record to the cloud on New Zendler Live, the video, audio and chat text are cloud recorded. The recording files can be downloaded and recording with chat can be shared with a URL and streamed from a browser. So earlier Zenla Live only supported local recording and it was a big pain point to manage your recordings. Not anymore with new Zenla Live Cloud Recording, you can record to the cloud and access the recordings from the new cloud recording tab on the live classes and webinars. So features are cloud recording for live classes and webinar, share cloud recording with anyone, download cloud recording files. So let's just jump into the platform now and I'll just show you how it works. It's so easy guys, you're gonna love it. Okay, let's show you how the cloud recording works inside of live webinars and live classes, okay? so. You're going to see when you go into your webinar, into the webinar details, you're going to see a new tab along the top. You know, you've normally got the webinar details, the pages, automations, registered users. You now got a new tab called cloud recording. So at the moment, it will show nothing until we start our recording. OK, so we need to start our recording to get that to actually function. So if I click start recording and start the webinar, this webinar will now start. Like, here we go. And normally you would have had to hit the record button in here, but now it's going to say record to the cloud or record to this computer. So you've still got the ability to record locally and save that, which is really good. I personally prefer that. But if you want to record to the cloud, we can hit record to the cloud. So now it's recording to the cloud. You're going to see a little cloud icon with the little dot in there. So if I turn my video on here, which probably won't work because I am actually showing myself on screen whilst I'm showing you guys this. So once it finishes, we can then end the webinar and we will then have access to those files afterwards. So let me just put some things in the chat as well whilst uh, this is running. So I'm going to put in here um, is this chat recording or cloud. And then I hit enter. So I've got one comment in there. Obviously you'd have other users in there as well, but as I'm doing this like this, uh, you can't see that. So obviously my camera's off as well because I have a different camera. Let me just see if I can switch over to the Brio, which I've got set up inside here. Um, let me go to the Brio. Um, that should then show me in screen. And I should be able to turn this on. or maybe not. <laughs> so anyway, if my camera, if I wasn't recording in, in the corner like I am now, then it would be showing that. So on the recording, I should have now downloaded folder, files and I will have all of the chat as well in there. So I'm gonna end this meeting now and we're gonna check back in that recording. So let's just end the web and R for all and that's gonna close off. And now under my cloud recording, I probably need to come in and just refresh it. It might take a few moments just to update it all inside here. But if you now go back into that webinar or live class and you go to the, the tab that says cloud recording, you're going to have those files in there. Now, like I said, it might take a little bit of time to show, so it's not showing at the moment. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll see that it will pop up uh, when it's finished, obviously processing Zoom's side, okay? Okay, so here we go. We have the recording in there. So like I said before, if you go to live webinar um, and you click, this one is the one that we just finished and we recorded to and make sure when you start that webinar you select record record from the cloud or record locally if you want to save it on your desktop 
then after you've finished, if you've got record to the cloud, then give it a bit of time and then you'll get this appear in here. So we have a direct link, it's actually this link here. So if I just uh, copy that link, you can see URL copied. And I'm gonna put that straight in here. You can share this with people. So you could send this out to people. And you can see here, we have our little Zoom going on. So now it's recording to the cloud. You're gonna see a little cloud icon with the little dot in there. So if I turn my video on here, which probably won't work. So you can see it's actually recorded that and you'll actually see because it's in part of Zoom, it's actually done a transcript of it that you could search as well, which is really, really handy. Uh, you've also got chat messages here. You can see this is chat recorded for cloud. So you've got this link that you can send out to people, which is really, really cool. So let's jump back to uh, this again. And you'll also see in here that we can actually download the recorded files as well. So if you click this, it's going to open up and start to download those files. You can see there, it's downloading. So if we go into show in folder, then you're gonna see that you have that inside there as well, that you can open up and watch. So now it's recording to the cloud. You're gonna see a little cloud icon with a little dot in there. If I turn my video on inside there. So that is how you can look and record it. So remember also like your chat messages, uh, you've got them inside here as well. Um, you've also got this uh, audio transcript as well that's in here. So this is quite handy to, to have. And that's how it works. So that is cloud recording from us at Zener. I know it's something you guys asked for and uh, a really cool feature. Obviously, if I had the video on there, you'd see my face. And if I had other people in there as well, they would be on there as well. But that is cloud recording from us at Zener.